Hello, my name is Joshua Orville Vaughn. Uh, I go by Orville. I have been tattooing for a little over seven years now. I have been creating digital art probably closer to nine years. So what I hope to show you guys today is a technique that I use to go in and manually pick out shadows and highlights on a photograph. All right, like I said, uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how to basically manually adjust um, your, your contrast. Uh, so basically you're gonna kind of be picking and choosing uh, which shadows and which highlights you want to call out uh, for a photo. Uh, so I've decided to, to kind of show you guys this quick, uh, real real kind of simple um, way of doing this method. Um, so in this instance, uh, basically we're just going to be uh, creating a sphere um, where we're going to be creating the shadows and the highlights using multiply layers and screen layers. I like to start with a, a mid-tone. So uh, kind of selecting my, my mid value range gray. Uh, gonna kind of start with that and just build our, our shadows and our highlights off of it. So I got that selected. Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, the layer. I'm gonna use two fingers and swipe to the right. Uh, what this does is create an alpha lock. Uh, an alpha lock essentially just locks whatever uh, pixels are active on that layer. Uh, duplicate this layer. Uh, and then for my layer options where we have normal, uh, I'm gonna start off and do my multiply layer. Uh, this essentially is just darkening everything on that layer. Uh, so basically still have uh, that layer alpha locked and we're gonna stay on the multiply layer and we're gonna select our eraser tool. Uh, for this, I, I usually recommend uh, using a, uh, uh, like a soft airbrush. Uh, the soft brush with the airbrushing uh, set that's provided on Procreate is a good uh, one to start with. Um, so I'm essentially going to be erasing all of the areas on the multiply layer that I want to remain uh, my mid value. Uh, so once I get that to where I'm comfortable and I like how it, it's coming together, uh, I'm gonna go uh, to my original layer, um, not the multiply layer, just the normal layer. I'm gonna duplicate that again, uh, now that we have our dark value where we want it, and I'm gonna do a screen layer uh, to enhance the highlights. So essentially, this is going to lighten up the entire area, including the, the darker value we just put in with the multiply layer. So the first thing that I like to do is go in and erase that dark area that we just created. So we really wanna keep that as dark as we had it. So basically working and erasing um, our, our darker values kind of working into our highlights. So once I get that to where I'd like it, uh, one of the things I like to do is go back and kind of toggle um, the, the layers so I can kind of see the effect that they've had on them. All right, so from here, what I like to do is duplicate these screen layers and the multiply layer to really push the depth on So basically, this is essentially the same process that I'm using for portraits. All right, here's a, a photo that I took of myself in order to show you guys how I use this process uh, for something like a portrait. All right, so here we have our final product. Uh, my main focus with this was to really kind of define and darken uh, that shadow between the transition point from my normal lighting to my red lighting. Um, I also wanted to choose some of the highlights for like the nose and um, the top of the, the brow and uh, you know a few little spots on the forehead and cheek to really emphasize the lighting. All right, so here is a side-by-side -side comparison of our original photo next to the one that we went through and manipulated. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my Instagram is Joshua Orville Vaughn. Thank you for taking the time uh, to watch the video.